So let us understand our human nature from the ground up. We start off here, the Muladhara Chakra, at the base of the coccyx, the very origin, our position, gravity, quantum gravity, the position. This is in the Earth Chakra, at the base of the spine. This is our body, our sense of being a body, and it's in a position. And then as the body develops, then you've got a body with a posture, you know, a, a kata that they can then perform the action. So you get a, the body in a certain position means you're going to perform a certain action, say diving, running, walking, lifting, in the certain positions that lead to certain actions. And this is the function in the body. Now the body grows in this triangle, remember, from the sense of touch to taste, in the flow of things, the things that pass through our hands, the things that pass through into our digestion fundamentally. Fundamentally with our hands we're collecting food, and this we then identify the shapes and tastes of the different food objects. And then our body grows and develops. Now this is subverted in the system from work. So we do other actions and then, and then other people grow the food for us which are delivered to us. So we're not actually working, collecting our own food. You know, the land has been taken away from us so we can't collect our own food. We aren't free to roam, so we can't collect our own food. The land has been stolen. And then we've been turned into slaves, so that the actions in the flow of things, with the objects we have to move, we have to do those ob move those objects in order to, collect, to be given food as slaves. And this is this level, the pressure level. So we're all under economic pressure and the pressures of covetousness and desiring certain objects and seeking, seeking certain, certain objects. And that, you know, as you, you know, you will become aware, there's always a general confusion in our mind between objects and people. So because of the being, the, having our power taken away, we treat people as objects instead of getting closeness in the, in the involved with the eating and the collecting you see, when we get collect, collected food, when we ate food, it was, it was all together. I know this relates to a path earlier up the tree, but the important thing is to understand the tree. Understand the tree, and then your own imagination will be freed to understand better than I am explaining myself. When beginning from the ground up, to give you the best understanding and the deepest understanding. So you've got the body growing through food, the vegetable realm into the mineral realm, the taste, the body growing. And then here we have the energy center, which is the sexual center, the heat of the body. This is the sexual chakra, the second chakra. And this chakra, or this sphere, determines the body heat. So it goes from, the, you know, general comfort and warmth um, to, you know, sexual, sexuality, being on, on heat. This is the energy of the body. So the body is energized by this food, or food and then... So the, or, or you can see it as the body needs that energy, so it needs to generate this track. You know, if you think about this as sexuality, then we need money to, you know, to impress the female or to go out hunting. We need, you see what I mean? We need resources. So we need to work to get the resources to, to be able to 
go out on the, on the next triangle, the space-time relativity triangle. So here, here we have the, the stomach, the navel chakra, where these two cross. So this is where we are all, uh, the, where anxiety is to do with the food and to do with money and to do with covetousness, acquiring objects, performing work. All the performance anxiety is down here in the stomach. In the navel chakra, it shouldn't be identified up here as a mental problem is to do with the flow of things in the third chakra, the navel chakra, which is the pressure signal, the balance here. Now this develops into the liver and the gallbladder. So that the, the, the liver, or we eat the green food, the vegetables, and that develops our liver. And the liver is the planning department. So we look for objects, and then we have a planning department. We have a planning department in you know, getting those objects, and these objects are, are are there defined in the object relations here in in this sphere, in the zigzag. So what you've got to do is build up all these different concepts, which all fit together in an integrated system. But here I'm going to go through the chakras and the organs of the body. So this is the liver and the gallbladder. The gallbladder is for making the, the, the decisions. This is the gardener, the gentleman. So the gentleman is making decisions. But he's doing this in a gentle way, so it's not understood, he's, he's not ex exerting force. He's taking the decisions. And the, the liver is the planning department from following the taste, needing that food, the demand for certain objects. is in this pressure, this is the pressure signal in the stomach. Where we get where we get the anxiety. The understanding is you've got to understand that these are spread out, that our minds are spread out in our bodies. Here we have the stomach and the spleen. The stomach digests the food, which we think of thinking. And the spleen accumulates and distributes, it accumulates the blood and then distributes it throughout the body you know, after a meal to take the, the food back into the liver. And, and this, if you like, the spleen is like a catalogue. It's like a list of things that when we get the energy or the money or the meal, we'll put all those things together. This is the function of the spleen. You know, this is a catalogue of objects and taste. So we follow our taste and seek out the food. And then, as I said, we've been trained. It's like Pavlov trained his dogs on, you know, on, on the food and the bell. So we've been trained to seek out, you know, like the work, to get the money, to get these objects. We're then fascinated with on another level up, up here on the screen. You know, the screen out of our minds or the TV screen. So there we have the, the heart chakra. The heart chakra which develops from five, which is one of the primary four divisions. Because if you like, you've got one triangle, one set of four, and then the three reproduce so it's still based upon the three now, now we come to the heart chakra so the heart chakra is one of the primary four it's the phi the golden mean the golden section seeing that it's good seeing harmony the flower the 
Buddhist world, the heart, the heart chakra. You're seeing harmony, the, the harmony in the thousand petal lotus, in all events and all things. You're seeing harmony in the structure of our lives and our minds. This is what we desire in our hearts. Obviously we're told in the narrative and on these screen images what those things are. But here we're just at the heart chakra, so the heart chakra is still central. So these are still central. You see the body, the sexuality and the heart are all central. And then we have the, the first, the stomach chakra. We'll get that, we can get an imbalance and develop an anxiety in the stomach. Anxiety from the planning and decisions from our tastes and being able to acquire those. You know, this is the anxiety of covetousness and, you know, being indoctrinated by screens, advertising, brand names, all the other imagery and fashions. Now we come up to the throat chakra the throat chakra here and this balances out space-time this is the audio signal it's the audio signal that gives us the idea of space-time it's the audio signal that gives us the echolocation the sound, the echo of the space and sound itself you know, it's time, it's time, it's a you know, repetition of the oscillation. So it's the continuity of that wave, continuity of that wave that is sound, that is sound, and here is the soundtrack right now, what's playing, is at this point, what I'm saying, you know, the, and, and it's the balance, it's the balance. So here we have the water, the space, you know, the kidney and the bladder, the bladder territory marking like the dogs do, and then the bladder, the uh, the kidney purifying the water, the water cycle. Here we have air and metal, the air in the lungs and the metal in the large intestine. You know, the character, you know, the character that comes from, the, you can hear in the breath, or that comes from the toilet training from the bowel function, you know what I mean, so the strain, you know, be anally retentive, this is the officer, but, it, we, but it's in all our hearing, the sound, we can hear the sound, we can hear the sound of nature, and we can hear, you know, whether it's a sweet sound, or it's a bad sound, like, you know, the prisoners could tell, by the sound of the war, you know, the, 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 the warden's cough, whether it's in a good mood or a bad mood. You know, the audience who heard Tommy Cooper laugh, burst out, but just, sorry, Tommy Cooper just breathed on the microphone. And they broke out laughing because they recognized him, the character. The character. The character. And, and the flow of energy over time, the hearing. Now, this is a say it's a soundtrack and it's in our voices in the throat chakra. So we get problems with the thyroid if we start to be demanding or insisting or ordering people around. So you can the problems in the stomach caused by the pressure signal, problems in the throat caused by the audio signal, the sound the sound, but this is the sound that you're giving out and the sound that's coming in. This is sound itself, it's actual hearing point now, as we, but we can hear the echo. And then we come up to the third eye the third eye, which is where we see basically a cartoon, the video signal, the video signal. 
the video signal is passing by. Now remember, the narrative is in the throat. You know, the voice is in the throat. But here we just have the video signal, so we have the cartoon shapes. You know, as I say, objects and faces, surfaces and sur faces, people and things. As I say, this is one of the primary problems, is we mistake <laughs> objects for people. We have personal relationships with objects, we give them names. We don't, don't we treat people as objects? and expect them to be ob objectified by having brand names on by being branded <laughs> without seeing the self you see, because, but here, here we have that you know, the, 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 the video signal and the flow of things the, the, it, not, sorry not the flow of things the, the, the cartoon the, the cartoon that we see in our memories in the we structure that we live in as children and as adults and this is the balance uh, 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 and uh, we can see things moving and that gives us a sense of conscience because we know the moving is, is called, has been called by an intent you know, by an object has got to be acted upon for it to move. So we've seen the t intent in the movement, and then we can see we have an intuition of that intent. We can see that intent. We see the movement, and we have an intuition of the intent in. And the intent gives us our conscience when we see the course of events. The course of events where our mistakes have led. Like we say, there are no accidents. Everything is a cause. A, de a, de a, de a deed as a governor in the self. Now in the self, we see that in, in love, now as a child, we, you know, as in the external world, we look for the breast. In the internal world, it's the focus of attention and the communion, the, the, the sharing of, of love of the self in communion, dissolving, losing oneself in, you know, euphoria, bliss. Enlightenment. The only obstacle to enlightenment is looking down on others. And we all need the breast, the coaxial signal. You know, we all need the milk. We all need the coaxial signal, the energy flowing into us to give us life and mind and imagination. And see this magic, magical show, you know, and we, this is where we get the, these different, you know, in, imbalances. I hope that has given you some understanding. Thank you very much for watching.